All right, so we're here again for another Whiteboard Wednesday. Last time we talked about uh, resource pools and scaling vertically and how you can do that very easily with cloud computing. And this time I thought it would be interesting, uh, we kind of mentioned last time that uh, load balancing is something that uh, is really powerful when you put it in a cloud computing environment. And you call that horizontal scaling, right? Mm -hmm. So if you could tell the audience a little bit about the differences between vertical scaling and horizontal scaling and uh, I guess, some things to look out for when you do that. Right, so, so the difference between uh, scaling vertically and horizontally is that last time we talked about adding CPU, adding RAM to one particular machine or maybe a group of machines like SQL and web servers. So when we, when we think about scaling vertically mm -hmm. or adding CPU and RAM, the problem is this doesn't scale well. Okay. So we're, we're trapped with this one kind of, let's just add more power to this one thing. Sure. Um, and there's, there's a limit to that. So wherever you go, eventually you're going to hit a limit. Okay. With, uh, the, if I could preach one thing about cloud computing, it'd be scaling horizontally. Yeah. So when we scale horizontally, not only do we gain more power, but we gain uh, redundancy as well. Scale this way. All right, <laughs> no problem. So now I have four smaller machines versus this one big machine okay. handling the same load, if not more. And we can throw, say these are web servers, we can throw a load balancer in front of this. And any, this is the first time of me drawing an actual cloud on the board. <laughs> um, the load balancer will intelligently distribute the load in between these. So we can have a database server back here, all talking, all the web servers talking to this one database. And since this is all static information, we can clone these machines off one by one as needed. And you could do this in the traditional world, right? So you could actually have four physical servers and mm -hmm. load balance. Uh, but because of virtualization and cloud computing, uh, this isn't necessarily more expensive than this. These four machines isn't necessarily more expensive than one huge, right? Um, you know, virtualized machine. Right, and not only that, but with virtualization, combining load balancing and virtualization, mm -hmm. I can do this rapidly. So, say I need to add another machine, I can I can pop one in very quickly. Okay. So with the phys with the old physical world, I'll have to go buy hardware. I'll have to. You know, and then you're stuck with that hardware, right? So you've made this capital investment, and now you're stuck with this hardware. And then, you know, slow season hits, and then you're stuck with this hardware doing nothing all day long. Um, so we can, you know, with virtualization and cloud computing, we can scale on demand up and down. Okay. So, you know, if I hit that slow season, I can start eliminating some of these virtual machines off. That's um, cost savings for the business. Right. Another thing with horizontal scaling is that I've got this built-in redundancy. So, you know, whereas with the, the vertical scale model, if I lose this guy, that's it, game's over. Yeah. With, with the load balancing, I can actually take these guys offline temporarily, okay. do any upgrades that I need to do, and then put them back in the load balance pool. So it's, it's not only cost savings, but it's also risk management. Absolutely. Right? So you're, you're more redundant and more resilient to uh, anything that might happen to your environment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so looking at load balancing then, um, everything here is virtual here in terms of the virtual machines, but the load balancer, uh, the way that at least we do it here, it's still a physical machine, correct? Correct. So we utilize F5 at Blue Lock. Okay. Uh, they've been good partners to us. Yeah. And uh, we actually have a redundant pair of load balancers that we use. Mm -hmm. So they um, F5 is actually working on a virtual load balancer as well, and I think they just came out with a demo for that, so that'll be very interesting. Sure, we'll be quick to implement that. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, cool. I think uh, I think there's a good overview of kind of what load balancing is, some of the business benefits, cost savings, risk management, and then you know looking at how this would look diagrammed out. And if you have any questions, uh, hit us up in the forums or in the in the comments, and we'll see you next Whiteboard Wednesday. Thanks, guys.